Uh, good day everybody. Fly cutting on the mill. Most people when they talk about removing material from bar stock or from flat plate use something like this which is a fly cutter. Um, a fly cutter works, it's good, um, but it's only a single point cutter. Um, the, the cut itself is um, just one point and it flies round and round. It's a piece of high speed steel, you've got to sharpen it, you've got to know how to sharpen it. Um, it works, but it's not the best method. Um, there are other methods for removing quite a lot of material from flag bar stock or from plate. Now I've only got a small mill, I've only got a very small workshop. My workshop is only 8 foot by 6 foot. So I've got a small Chinese lathe and a small Chinese mill. And people ask, you know, how can you remove a lot of metal with a very, very small mill? And there are solutions out there. Um, there, are, there are good solutions, especially from some of the Chinese manufacturers. And one of them is um, a four flute end mill. Um, it comes like this. It's a unit like that. It um, takes carbide tips so there's no sharpening. The carbide tips are very very sharp. It's got four flutes so you're not single point cutting. You're actually end milling which makes it a lot smoother, a lot quicker. You need an arbor for it, which um, with this kit it comes. I will actually put a link to the kit in so you can see it. Um, it, 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 it's a very, very good solution. I'm going to show you what you get in the kit and you get that you get a set of carbide tips which are 1604s APMT 1604s you get the wrench which is um, again you allow to, to allows you to put the um, the tips on and you get an arbor and the arbor is a moss taper arbor with a 10 mil thread for the drawbar. You can get moss taper threes. Uh, you can also get um, R8 type. It comes with a bolt on the end, an Allen cap head bolt, which you'll need an 8 mil Allen key for. Uh, and that allows you to actually put the shell mill on the end, the end mill on the end, and fasten it in like so. I'm sorry if the picture's wobbling around, but I don't have a great deal of room to play around in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put four carbide tips on, and then we will move to the workshop, and we'll see if we can have a good cutting. Now I'm going to give it a good chance. Like I say, I've only got a very small Chinese mill, um, but I have used this before. This is not the first time I've actually used this, but I've put it back into the condition which I got it. Um, and it's uh, it, it, it hasn't shown anywhere at all, no damage to the tips or anything like that. It fits together really, really well. Um, I'm going to give it a fair trial. I'm going to cut some aluminium with it. I'm going to cut some hot rolled bright mild steel with it. I'm going to cut some cold rolled black steel with it. And if it all goes well, I'm even going to try and cut some cast iron, piece of cast iron bar. So we'll see what, what happens with that um, once I've got the carbide tips on and we move into the workshop. Uh, welcome now to the workshop part of this video. What I've done is I've mounted a block of aluminium in the vise, got me cutter mounted. It's set to cut 20 thousandths 
of an inch off the top of that. One thing you have to make certain of when you're using a cutter like this is that's quite a bit of a mass flying around there. So everything's got to be tight. So we'll just make sure that that is tight and it is. This is tight. The most tape is snugged in. We're ready to go. You must make sure that your mill is trammed in properly. You don't want that edge digging in and that edge trailing or vice versa. So this is important. So we'll switch the mill on. And obviously with it being a small mill, we've got to do the put very, very gently. The 20 cow is putting really, really clean. drama, no excitement, doing it very, very easy. And that's 20 cow, off the end of that. And it's like a mirror. What I'll do is I'll set it up again and we'll do another 20 cal.
Okay, back inside again after a little spell in the workshop. Just want to show you the results um, of using that end mill from Banggood um, on a very, very small Chinese mill. People say that this can't be done, but I think these these results prove that it can. If we have a look here, this surface here is really, really smooth. You can see the shine on it. It's, uh, if I can get it into focus, there we go. You can see that shine on there. I mean, that's, that is a really nice finish. Real nice finish indeed. And that's in aluminium. The next one is the Bright Mild Steel, and again, you can see that the um, the reflection there of my shirt, it's almost a mirror finish, and that is without any fluid, or any cutting fluid, um, straight off the mill. All I've done is deburred the edges, and it's um, it's pretty good. It's that's a twenty thou cut. Um, straight 20 thou cut on a small Chinese Chinese mill. I could probably do more, I could probably do 30 or possibly even 40 thou with lubricant, with fluid. Uh, the next one is the, 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 the cold rolled steel, the, the crusty stuff and again you can see that the finish on that is really very very good. It's almost a mirror finish uh, very very smooth indeed um, that, that I can actually see the rainbow marks now I don't know whether you can see the the rainbow effect in it I'm trying but I can I can see rainbow effects in that and then the cast iron um, well the cast iron obviously won't shine but it, again it is very smooth when you consider that it was it was just a, a crusty piece of, of cast iron um, and there you can see that it's uh, very smooth indeed so I think that proves that you can use those large tools on a small mill um, that was a question that was posed uh, by someone who watched John Mills double boosts when he was fitting the DRO to my mill uh, 